the state. Let's go to Canada. I didn't bring my passport. Dang it! Well, that's as far west as we can go. Want to go to Hawaii? Did you bring a boat? No. Dang it! You want to go to Mexico? You didn't bring your passport, remember? Dang it! What's up, my friends? This is Triple X Deadhead, and uh, today I I have some bad news, sad news, and good news. Well, the bad news I got kind of a viral infection uh, in my ears, and so I've been dizzy and it's hard to hear. Uh, but I'm you know getting better, so we'll see how that all turns out. Um, the sad news is that a good friend of our channel, a good friend of mine, a good friend to many of you, uh, Bilma, has passed away. And I'm sure that many of you guys have heard this news. Um, out of respect, I, I haven't really said anything or mentioned anything. I, I did dedicate my last video to him as I was just finishing up the edit. Uh, right as I found out about uh, his passing and uh, instantly I didn't believe it and I, I got a hold of my buddy Rebel Yell 91 Jeff and uh, he confirmed it and um, and then I got a hold of Defobra uh, through text messaging and Defobra called me right away and we spoke for quite a while and um, you know, my, my takeaway with talking with Defobra is that we both just admired this man greatly. And, you know, that, uh, I mean, we, we were both, you know, kind of tearing up talking about him and, and uh, you know, the legacy that he left behind and how many people he inspired. And um, a huge inspiration for my channel. And I, and I just remember... Um, getting into motorcycling and saving up for my bike and finding his channel and feeling like, you know, especially even when I got my bike, just feeling like I'll never, you know, have a buddy like him. You know, he's got Trace and I'll never have that buddy. I'll never have that, like, traveling all 50 states. Like, that's just so cool, but that's like an adventure for, for somebody other than myself. And... <clears throat> You know, he, he inspired me to think beyond that, and over time we became friends, and now I find myself in this position where hitting all 50 states is very much a realistic bucket list item, and for because of him, I, I consider the bucket list idea, you know, and, and embracing that idea of having a bucket list of things that you want to knock off before you pass, and... Um, I feel like I've dedicated my channel to him so many times and I remember for Yosemite he wanted to join us uh, but wasn't able to and uh, for Yellowstone he was really trying to figure out how to make it a, a reality uh, but he was going into culinary school and he was trying to spend as much time with his boy as he could and um, you know it's just sad it's a you know it's somebody I've never met and we we definitely tried to figure out a way to meet up, but uh, we spoke through text messaging and through emails, and uh, we did some of those Google Hangouts. And I remember watching Game of Thrones and chatting with him for like an hour and a half one night, and talking about long road trips and stuff. And then another, you know, not long ago we were talking about Star Wars, and we we're talking about Yellowstone, and you know. He's always been one of those guys that pushed my channel, my, my thoughts towards the idea of creativity and being genuine, being real, and being inspirational. And I've tried my best to be inspirational. I, I have no idea if I've accomplished it, and I, I don't even know if, uh, if he knows if he's ever accomplished it or not. So, I don't know. Sorry, I've... My, It's tough, and uh, he was a good guy, and he'll be greatly missed. And 
I know that for the time that he did spend on Earth and the time that he did spend creating on YouTube, that it meant a lot to me, and that it, and it will mean a lot in the in the years to come. And I, I can only hope that you know I can I can pay it forward. And and I know that one of his one of his quotes from his his BWAM series, and if you've never seen it, it's an, a fantastic YouTube series that's, you know, travel and camaraderie and, you know, good fun, good adventure, good friendships, good beer, good food, sadness, tears, hardship. You know, his channel is one of those things that's been a constant reminder for me that you can work hard and you can create something amazing. And that overall, the world just goes by and doesn't pay it a, 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 an ounce of thought. And I don't mean any disrespect to him. He, his channel never, you know, I, I don't believe I remember it being over 12,000 or you know, 11,500 or something subscribers. And by no means did that even come close to describing how amazing of a YouTuber and a creator and a videographer and a cinematographer that this guy was. And it, and it makes me sad to realize that something so great can go unnoticed by so many. But where it does give me hope is to know that, you know, those that he did um, make contact with, those that he did share his videos with, you know, those that saw his videos saw the greatness. And, um, and they, all they can do is spread the message. And that's all I want to do now. I was telling DeFobra on the phone that the only thing that matters to me, like the one thing that I know matters to Bilma above and beyond anything else is that his son understands it. His son knows the message, that his son knows how amazing Billy Music was. Biwam, Bilma, just incredible and uh, such a legacy and uh, truly an honor to have known him on this space and... Um, I, I can only hope that he's riding the hell out of heaven, so. But yeah, he uh, one of the quotes from his videos was that, you know, if, as long as you, if you're doing something, then something's getting done. And so, Billy, rest in peace, man. And uh, as a tribute to you, I, I plan on doing something. I plan on continuing to push and to get past, you know, my... I don't know my my things that hold me back from creating and not just on YouTube but just in general just to be as inspirational as I can to my kids and as inspirational as I can to the people around me so um so anyways I, I did say that there would be good news with this video and so what's come of this is this desire to reawaken an idea that I had a long time ago a long time ago um and I've interviewed a lot of people. I've interviewed, and I try to always interview the people that I run across, um, from SpacePod to Mike Corbin and, and so on. And, uh, and so one of the things I wanted to do was try to figure out a way to you know, interview that would, you know, that would work with my channel to interview people. And, and Bilmo was one of the people that I really wanted to interview. And uh, that never happened because I never brought it to action. I never... I never took the the effort nor the time and to to build up those resources to make it happen. I, I let it slide. I, I let it go by, and and it can never happen now. And um, and so I contacted Sean Smoke, and and told him that I wanted to do like a, a show and and have it be just in a very informal think tank and. Be about motorcycles, be about motor vlogging, be about community, be about, you know, being genuine and being real and, and just being and in general. And so we've, we've talked about it and we've decided that we're going to um, start every Friday, do a, a show for you. And, and, you know, it's not like an entertainment show or anything along those lines. It's just you know, something that we think that you guys will be into. And, uh, you know, something that I wish I had started a long time ago. Um, 
So it's got to happen. If you're doing something, something's getting done. So Friday night, 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, keep an eye out for us, and uh, we'd love to have your support. And um, and to those of you that are friends and family of Bilma, of Billy, you know, I'm, I'm there for you in any way, shape, or form that I possibly can be. And um, never hesitate to reach out and um, and to you know, Trace, if you watch this, man, just know that we all love you, dude. And um, look out for his boy. You know. Anyways, guys, peace out. Before starting any vlogging treatment, please consult with your doctor. Side effects of vlogging can include anal leakage and increased fondness of farm animals. If you vlog for more than four hours, seek immediate medical attention. Do you really think video vlogging for dummies will help me become a better moto vlogger? Oh, I know it will. This is not something that somebody goes to do out of obligation of somebody asking them. Once he figured out where I was going and what it really meant, he decided he had to go with me. That, my friends, is when you know you have a friend for life.